I was right to court and then came back up and went and got the 12 months young offenders institution and next door to the detention centre in Glenoco mm -hmm. and uh, that's where I met a whole load of crazy fuckers one in uh, particular that stands out was James O'Neill uh, Neely uh, his full title was Neely the Bomb he was always making fucking improvised explosive devices with matches and gas canisters and, and my job was then to phone the newspapers to tell them the demands so I'm waiting in the queue to phone the newspapers and I uh, heard a scream going up and Jock Donaldson standing at the top of the fucking stairs with a blade that screw his neck he says I used the sauce bottle put black tape on it held it upside down like a grenade I don't know if, if it's a one off but I don't know many airplanes or anybody that's fucking put black tape on it so you looked like one of the gr German grenades ah, that's what he's done it with and he pulled me aside and gave me some tobacco and said you have to go in the exercise yard tomorrow Right, yeah, who, to see who, uh, the IRA, and in Charlie Bronson's mind, that's because he's hijacked an airplane, it would then follow that he can fly an heli a helicopter. Doesn't he work like that? Two different separate things. So he told him if he didn't get the cheeseburgers, he was going to start eating the hostages. <laughs> <laughs> Mad. And then you get this slippery bastard, McGraw, the fucking snake, I called him. And I, and I did try to say it in one word, and I couldn't say it in one word, so... I'll repeat it again, he's a fucking snake. And a lot of people turn around and, and think, oh, that's a glamorous life, is it? You you sit in, doesn't even matter what prison you're in or you're getting a visit. The minute your family walk up, sit up for that table at the end of the visit and walk away, you're fucked. 